Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, wanted to talk about this fight, and you know, words my brethren in Philadelphia and Washington DC because we're gonna talk about a true warrior from Philadelphia. We're gonna talk about a true warrior from the DC area because there's a fight happening on February 10th, which, if you don't know, is one day before. B. Taylor Day, the 23rd annual B. Taylor Day, a.k.a. my 23rd birthday, uh, February 10th, you know, there will be a fight. And and we're not talking about Mikey Garcia versus Sergey Lippin. It's in that attempted cherry pick. No, no, no. We're talking about a real fight, a fight that's not getting a whole lot of love from a lot of the boxing media. But it's a fight that, you know, from an entertainment standpoint, it should, it should deliver. You know, there isn't really any title on the line. There's not a ton of significance to it, but it's a fight that if you're looking for some good boxing, if you're looking for a, a, a good show, I, I, you should probably try to find out, figure out a way to watch it. And that fight comes in the form of Hank Lundy versus Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. Now, I know what you got. You guys are saying, like, well, Demarcus Chop Chop Corley, like, that guy is old. He shouldn't be fighting no more. He's, like, 40 years old or whatever it is. He's got 28 losses. Like, look, man, Demarcus Corley is a warrior. He fought everybody. You know, Demarcus Corley is as as in shape as they come for a 40-year-old fighter. You know, all you got to do is just look at his Instagram account, look how he takes care of himself. You know, he's constantly working out, constantly working out with other fighters, constantly sparring, constantly helping his own son, who, by the way, is going to be a freaking beast when he gets older because his son could fight. Um, Demarcus Corley, man, he's going to be a very game opponent for Hank Lundy. Um at 135, by the way, which I, th which I think is great because I made a video last year talking about how guys ain't trying to fight Hank Lundy at 135. They're trying to fight him at 140. So that, that's why he, they, he, he kept getting brought up to 140. But at 135, this is a, a great fight. And it's going to be a fight that's going to be at, not at a big venue. It'll be at, it'll be at the, the 2300 Arena in Philadelphia, which is going to be great for Hank as he's going to be getting a big fight in his hometown. So it'll be a chance to put on a, a good show. In his hometown, and then for Demarcus Corley, you know, DC ain't too far from Philly, so he can go and got people from DC and go see him, uh, him as well. So it's just a, it's it's one of them show, it's one of them fights, man. Where like you know, you you get, you get these fights every now and then, where it, it's not a big promotional company behind it. There is not a big venue, but in a, it's in a smaller venue. It's between guys who aren't the best fighters in the world, but it has you know great fight written all over it. I I, I really genuinely believe that. I think you know. To get into the styles, you know, to get into the styles, you know, talking about Hank Lundy at 135, you know, this is a guy that has very good movement, good boxing ability. He can switch hit boxing out of the southpaw and orthodox stance. You know, Hank Lundy um, has really good speed. Um, and, you know, to fight a guy like Corley who's experienced, who is a good slick southpaw himself, um, I think it's going to be a good fight. And honestly, it's one of those fights where I think at some point in time, you can expect one, two, maybe three rounds where these guys are going to get into some really good exchanges because Lundy has shown in the past he don't mind exchanging. Coley has shown in the past he don't mind exchanging. So it, it, I, I, I genuinely believe there could be fireworks. I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm going to – I'm going if, – if, if I'm not sure what the time is of that fight, if it's going to be at the same time as Garcia, Mikey Garcia versus Sergey Lipinitz, but I am going to watch this fight over that fight. So if you're if you're looking for – if you're, if you're going to look for a post-fight review of uh, that Lipinitz-Garcia uh, fight, if this fight is on at the same time, I'm not watching it, so you might not get one from me. But, like, this fight, man, I'm, I'm really excited for it, man. I'm really excited for it for Demarcus Corley. You know, he's fought them all, man. He's fought so many names. It's not even funny. Like, people don't even realize how the amount of names this guy's fought from from Floyd Mayweather to Randall Bailey to Zab Judah to guys that have, are fighting today to Victor Postal, Ruslan Ravonikov. Um, you know, guys have fought, guys fought them all. Guys fought them all in many ways, uh, in my in my eyes at least. He's, he's a legend in many ways just for the guys he's fought um, and how he's still fighting today. And he's still a game opponent, like. He's still a game opponent. I'm not saying he's this world beater. I'm not saying he's a, he's a great fighter, but I'm saying he's a very game opponent. And you're not gonna catch Chop Chop Corley on uh, slipping on his on, on his conditioning, on his fitness. He will come prepared for this fight, and um, it's a winnable fight, man. Like Hank Lundy, you know, as much as I like Hank and as, as, as the skills that he does have, Hank Lundy has shown in the past that you can catch him with some shots. You can catch him with some shots. And Demarcus can catch him with some shots. Demarcus is experienced enough. Demarcus is crafty enough. 
to catch him with some shots. So I, I just think overall it's the it's it's the, the 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 youth versus experience factor, and it's also the the vulnerability factor both fighters have shown in the past, shown in their careers that make this fight so interesting to me. And the fact that it's uh, in many ways a smaller show, a smaller fight, that it is getting overlooked, that there really isn't a lot on the line except pretty much just pride. Pride for yourselves, pride for your cities, you know, pride to win. You know, there's a lot of pride on the line that, that, that night. So it's a fight that I think um, boxing fans should pay some attention to because I don't see a lot of them making videos about it. Um, these are both fighters, you know, in Corley and Hank Lundy. I've had a chance to interview both these fighters. You know, you know I, I interviewed uh, I interviewed Demarcus Corley and Hank Lundy both in 2016, um, and I can say that from 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 speaking to both of them, from speaking to Hank, you know, Hank is is one of boxing's most humblest. I wouldn't say humble. Well, he's he's humble if you're not fighting him. You know, what I'm saying like he, if you're not fighting him, you're not in his way. He ain't gonna talk trash to you, but he's humble. When you meet him, you know, he, he he takes time with everybody. He treats everyone the same. He gives you that respect. And for, for the, with DeMarcus, man, like another guy, you know, a, a regular guy, uh, a really respectable guy. And, and, and when you talk to these guys, when you talk to Hank, when you talk to DeMarcus, it is for five minutes as people. You know, it's hard not to like either one of them. They're, I've interviewed a lot of fighters in boxing. I've had, I've had a chance to talk to some of the greatest fighters of all time. Um, you know, like Larry Holmes is one guy I talked to. Um, and I've been, I've been blessed to just meet a lot of fighters, man. And, 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 and these two are just about as some of them as two of the nicest guys that I've met in the boxing. And, you know, that's another reason that I want to give them support because, you know, sometimes when you're a media member and I don't, I don't want to vent, vent too much, but when you're a media member, sometimes these fighters don't really understand like, like the kind of effort or the kind of sacrifice that I put in the fact that like this stuff that I do here on YouTube, like it's not for financial gain. Cause I could easily get another job and, and make a much more steady income, but I do it because I love boxing and I love the sport and I want to see it grow. And I want to, I want to play my part. So because Corley and Hank have given me such great interviews, you know, I've always respect them. And, and, and they did it relatively early when I was, when I was just really starting to get my foot in the door. So I respect them a lot. And, um, this is a fight where I wouldn't mind being at if it wasn't so damn close to my birthday because I, I can't even – and that's another thing. I can't even leave South Florida for my, my birthday this year because my freaking – you know, my girlfriend want, my, my girlfriend wants to spend my birthday with me this year and then you got family coming into town. and It's like my birthday is a big deal for some reason this year. I don't know what it is, but it, it, it just is. Um, and it is what it is, man. But Demarcus Corley, Hank Lundy, uh, that will be February 10th at the 2300 Arena in Philadelphia. So – Go check that out. You know, I would definitely do my best to try to get both these guys on the channel with interviews before this fight. So uh, be on be on the lookout for that. And um, again, man, big big respect to both of them. Who do you think will win? You know, uh, off rip, I'll just definitely say that I think Hank Lundy is going to win just because of the youth. Honestly, I think the youth and the fact that he's fighting in his hometown is a big advantage for him. And um, that's just what it is. I do think Demarcus Coley does have what it takes to land a crafty shot that could potentially hurt Hank, but um, we'll see, man. It's, it, it, it is an interesting fight. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think um, about this fight. I do know also that uh, Hank Lundy, side note, Hank Lundy is also ranked number 10 in the 135 pound WBC ranking. So a win, a good win here against uh, Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. Uh, maybe get him a, a spot or two, maybe th you know, a couple spot or two up more in the rankings, and maneuvers him uh, in a position where you know he could be potentially fighting. Let me see, at one thirty-five, the WBC champion is is it? It's uh oh, Burchell, potentially Burchell in the future. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh, about this fight. Who do you think will win and why? Just give me your thoughts on it. Show your boy love in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And like I say in every video, you know, my name is Brendan Taylor. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. And that's Dania in South Florida, if you didn't know. So if you didn't know, get your geography up. And until next time, take care, guys.